Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a crock pot breakfast video, and I thought I would share some breakfast ideas to throw in the crock pot for Christmas morning or any mornings where you're busy and you want a warm breakfast, especially on the weekends or maybe before church or whatever the case. So I thought I would share those with you. So this first recipe is an apple crisp that goes in the crock pot for two hours and it was wonderful. My entire family absolutely loved it. Here I'm just chopping three different kinds of apples for our crisp and then I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar on the top and mix it in and then I toss it in the crock pot. So now we're putting in, we're mixing in some oats. We're going to start with oats. We put in a little bit of flour and I think some uh, more cinnamon on top of the oats and the flour mixture. And then you top that with, uh, or top that over your apples. And then you put butter in, but I forgot the butter like halfway through. It still turned out okay, but try to remember the butter in the beginning and not make my mistake. wasn't cinnamon, it, or well there's cinnamon that's going to be added, but I forgot we added brown sugar and cornstarch as well. And 
here it is all finished. We top it with some whipped cream. It was absolutely wonderful. And I'm not a huge fan of apples personally, but this was delicious. And everybody liked it. So this oatmeal cherry pie was a major fan favorite in our household. I think my kids have requested it multiple times now for breakfast. And yeah, this will probably stay on our menu as well as the apple crisp. Not everything that we tried in this video is something that we're going to keep, but we did try a lot of or a couple things and we liked most things. And this was definitely the biggest hit of all. start with some oats, some cinnamon, and some brown sugar, and you give it all a mix, and then you put it in the bottom of your crock pot, and then you put your cherry pie mixture on top, but try to make sure it doesn't like touch the edges because it, it'll burn, and you don't want that. And then you pour, so you have to do half of the oat mixture, I should have said that, and then you pour it over the half on the bottom, put the cherry mix, and then you put the other half over the top, and then you add an egg mixture, and this, oh my gosh, was one of the best things I think I've ever had in my life. I will also have all of these recipes linked below in the description box because I got all of them from Pinterest. recipe for me it just didn't work out because like I said some of the people didn't like my people <laughs> some of my people didn't like this and I particularly didn't like the pecans now we particularly did not like this exact recipe but this is definitely something I'm going to tweak because I like the fact that I can throw it all in a crock pot and this was done in an hour so it's definitely the easiest and the most, you know, dump and go friendly type of recipe that we tried, but it just wasn't a hit, so we're definitely going to tweak it.
Again, super disappointed that we didn't like it because it really looked delicious to us, but it just wasn't a hit. Okay, so these breakfast burritos were a little bit more labor intensive because you have to brown the sausage and add the um, seasoning blend or the peppers and onions, you know, separately beforehand and you have to cook them all. But um, they still came out delicious. My family loved these. You basically just, once you brown up the sausage, you just throw everything in on top and mix it up and then you cook it for two hours, I think. Um, or no, three hours on uh, high or six to eight hours on low. So this is definitely one that you could do overnight and then build breakfast burritos in the morning. So either way you go, this was a definitely a good hit for us. So outside of having to brown the meat and cook up or, you know, make the, you know, cook up the vegetables until they're translucent, um, this is another very dump and go kind of recipe. Um, like I said, it can be cooked overnight, so this would be a great one to do, you know, Saturday evening into Sunday morning, you know, before church and just eat up a couple of tortillas and throw together you know some burrito bowls for the bre for breakfast or you know actual burritos you can do this and batch prep your burritos and fill them and then throw them in the freezer and you know have a breakfast that you can warm up in the mornings grab-and-go kind of breakfast in the mornings on the busy mornings or have a nice warm breakfast for you waiting when you wake up in the morning on like a weekend.
like this. And like I said before, I will have all of these recipes in the description box below because I found them all on Pinterest. And we will definitely be making the cherry oatmeal pie or the oatmeal cherry pie and the apple crisp for our Christmas morning. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.